Mike Zimmer uh, took to the airwaves. He's on the Rich Eisen show with Rich Eisen, uh, talking about the Stefan Diggs trade, uh, talking openly for the first time since it all went down. So he said this, quote, uh, Diggs didn't have to go. Uh, we didn't really uh, we didn't really have any intention of trading him. Quite honestly, uh, he put out a couple of tweets, and there's some things going on there. What happened was Buffalo came in and gave us all those picks, and we were up against it with the salary cap, so we just felt like we could save some money, get a bunch of picks, and maybe get a, a young receiver like Justin Jefferson. And quote. So, um, A, I mean, the cap is a myth. The Vikings could have uh, afforded Stephon Diggs, uh, let it ride long term. But Buffalo did offer a, a nice big sack uh, of picks. First, fifth, sixth, and a future fourth. Really important there. But, I mean, Zimmer's honest. I mean, as we've said before, Zimmer is brutally honest to a fault. I actually don't think he knows how to lie unless it's about a stuffed animal massacre. So, I, I believe him here. I, I do believe that, well, I, I believe that he was unaware if there was anything in the works. So, he didn't know the inner works and what was going on with Spielman, what was going on with Kirk Cousins. And, and Zimmer... I feel like Zimmer is a guy who does stay out of the personnel, except for, hey, 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 Rick, draft the defensive guy. So he just wants to coach football. I, I love and respect that about him. So Zimmer, Zimmer didn't have a problem with Diggs, right? He didn't want Diggs gone. Uh, he's not on Twitter. He's not on the gram. He doesn't care about all the drama and BS. He cares about what happens on the practice field and what happens on the field on game day. That's all he cares about, right? So uh, 14. He knows that 14 saved the Vikings passing game in 2019 uh, when Adam Thielen went down, right? So he, he understood that. So he didn't necessarily want to see Diggs gone, but he was eventually cajoled and sold on the uh, on the aspect. I was like, oh, salary cap. Oh, all these draft picks, all this, all that. So again, let's recap this timeline of what went down uh, on the infamous day of, of Monday, March 16th. So 8.45 a.m. Central uh, was a daylight or standard time. Really doesn't matter. Central time. Uh, Kirk Cousins signs that fat two-year, $66 million extension. 1.46 p.m. That same day, Diggs tweets out, it's time for a new beginning. Uh, 9.35 p.m. That evening, Diggs straight to Buffalo for the first, fifth, sixth, and 2021 fourth-round pick. It, it's all too coincidental that everything happened so quickly th to have it be just like, oh, just randomness of the universe, please. So, obviously... There was tension between Diggs and Cousins. Diggs didn't wasn't uh, I'm sure wasn't a fan uh, of the run heavy offense. Uh, his role diminishing, which means that his money was also going to be diminishing. And maybe he did just want a fresh start, right? He wanted to go to a team, even though Kirk Cousins does have one of the best deep balls in the league. It just didn't seem like at, at times uh, there were always a simpatico. So just the fact that Kirk Cousins uh, signing that big ass uh, extension, really cementing himself uh, as the face of the franchise, as the de facto GM, as the Tim Pot Pizza Ranch dictator, all of a sudden, you know, all that tension working up between 8 and 14, and then Diggs tweets that thing out at 1.46 p.m., and then just magically eight hours later he's traded. I, I don't believe that was coincidence. And also, I don't think Zimmer had anything to do with it. So when Cousins signs that deal, he is the guy. And Diggs tweets that out. Maybe it was just finally the last straw. Then Cousins is like, ah, I'm going to be here for a while. I don't really want all this drama hanging around, all, all this stuff. I was going to be working on a Cardinal shirt. Oh, that, that's his brother's shirt. Oh, at this multi-million dollar complex. And he's a multi-million dollar athlete. He couldn't find another shirt. Okay. Um, let, let's see if we can get out. Then all of a sudden, Brandon Bean from Buffalo sees a tweet. Beep, pop, 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 boop. He puts two and two together. Or maybe behind the scenes, Rick Spielman was actually shopping Stefan Diggs. So, uh, first off, love Rick Spielman. He's a great GM. He's top five of my book. Don't believe a word that his lying ass ever says, right? He, he is the pure politician. Uh, every time he talks, it should be like, why are you lying to me, Rick Spielman? We have no intention of trading for Sarvin this time. We fully expect Stefan Diggs to be part of the Vikings going forward. Baloney. Baloney. He was working the phones behind the scenes. He's trying to, to find the best deal for 14. And if he got what he wanted, in. So Brandon Bean putting us all together. Hell, maybe Brandon Bean and Rick Spielman had a uh, conversation beforehand. Beep, bop, 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 boop. Hey, uh, 147 p.m. So we saw the Stefan Diggs tweet. What's it going to cost? Oh, 156 in the future fourth? Done. Click. And then just happened like that. So... I don't know. Like I do believe that Zimmer does believe that it automatically just came out of nothing, but just the confluence of events, just everything that was leading up to it. The fact that Stefan Diggs is rumored to be um, shopped around at the trade deadline. Oh, maybe that's when uh, Spielman and Brandon Bean talked initially and, and talked compensation. But 
And, you know, I'm sure Zimmer stays out of it. So maybe he does believe that really did come together at that last minute. But yeah, don't, don't believe that. Don't believe that at all. It's good to, that we're talking about football, though. All right. So your thoughts, Zimmer talking about the Stefan Dix trade. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Post some of the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull, production value.